Good morning, girls. Happy Vlogmas. What do you need today? Is it water? Oh, yes, I think you need your water topping up, don't you? I think that's a pretty clear message. Okay, one minute then. If you watched Vlogtober and you saw how rough Stella looked and dusty, look how well they are now. All new feathers have come in and you're feeling much better, aren't you, girls? Hello, hello, piglet. Hello, girls. Let's get you some fresh water. Hello, everybody. This morning, I have already been to the doctors with Cosmo, who's got some antibiotics. Well, he hasn't got them yet because I've got to go back to the pharmacy to collect them. Before I can start doing any trimming up and things, I've got some yarn winding and twisting to do to get these Bob Robin um, sets ready to go out tomorrow when the post is back on. So I've made myself a nice gingerbread coffee and I'm going to get cracking. I'm going to put my audio book on the Alexa so I can hear it over the banging of the floor going down in Ivy's room. So I'll catch up with you all in a bit. That's quite a lot of Bob Robin and quite a lot of Rinish games. So now I'm going to sit and label and package them all and get them wrapped up, ready to send out. Because of all of you supporting us, we managed to raise £242 for the Alzheimer's Society. So from all of us three sisters, thank you so much for all your support. It's meant the world to us. It's just gone six o'clock in the evening uh, <laughs> and I finally set out my advents or what I've got of them, which seems to be more than I anticipated having. Let me come around here. Here's a big bag full of Bob Robin, all packed up, just needs its postage labels on. Right, so up at that far end, those two bags are part of Paula's advent and so is that. In that basket there, that is um, a fabric swap advent I'm doing with my friend Davina. This is the yarny part of my advent swap with Paula. This one is um, the 12 days from Ali from Little Drops of Wonderful. This is a mixed one which I did with um, Luli and two other lovely friends. I'll come back in a minute and I'll tell you who they are. And this is the rest of the stuff from Paula. So <clears throat> we've done yarn for every day and then a gift for each Saturday of Advent. If that makes sense. So let me just go away and I'll come back and tell you who these are from. So from this little joint friend swap, it's Helen, Lee and Susan. Um, and then there's also Katie who's joined us, but I think she'll, we'll be doing it with her from next year. So that's in my sparkly snowflake basket with the ribbon, the velvet ribbon and the lace on the handle. So what I'm going to do is, because these are all done in different papers, this one's wrapped in mats, another one's in bags, a different bag. Um, bags, bags, bags. Oh, and these, these parcels look, how cute. So I think I'm just gonna dip my hand in and choose at random so I get a mi nice mixture of everyone. Uh, I don't know what to do about my um, Ali one. I don't know, because there's 12 days in there, so I don't know whether to do one for the, uh, for the first 12 days or whether to do one every other day. But I'll open one tonight and then I can decide, can't I? And this is, the, let me just show you this. This is day one from Paula goodness and then this is my lovely fabric swap with Davina so I shall set them all up on the table and then we'll have a look what's in them I hope we? you can see everything okay here I'm just burning down the last of the advent candle so he Cosmo will be coming to blow it out in a second so I picked this one from my swap with Helen Susan and Lee it's really cute let's open that one first That's pretty. Now these I'm going to be putting into my granny square blanket. That's lovely, like oh, 
fawn, speckledy dappled fawn hues. That's really pretty. So yes, I'm going to put squares into my granny square blanket with these. Okay, Ali's one next, number one. Ooh. What can I feel in here? Oh, cute. Oh, a Milky Way. <laughs> I'm having that for me pudding in a minute. There's a little label here. It says, unknown, possibly Sherry Iris. And these are little tiny mini five gram minis, which are really cute. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with these yet, but I'll work it out. Now, because it's dark, you perhaps can't see the colours that clearly. It's sort of a pale blue with little hints of um, pinkiness, a bit like, it reminds me of the sort of pale pink that you see in the sky very early in the morning sometimes. So thank you very much, Ali. And, and thank you for this one as well. I can't remember who this came from, but if you're watching, you know if you sent it to me. Here's Davina's number one. And this is fabric, as I said, because we're doing, um, We're doing a little, um, we're both doing Christmas English paper piecing quilts. <gasps> oh my word, that is so cute. Look, little, little Santa-y looking gnomes. This one's got a lantern. I reckon this is probably a 10 inch square. Cosy, can you come and blow out the candle? Oh, oh that is so sweet. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Oh dear. Sounded like you've um, had one too many cigarettes today. Don't, you'll burn your hair. Blow it out. Really? Yeah, it's just because you've been coughing a lot. Your voice box is a bit. Yeah. Okay. Wait, you can carry on doing what you're doing now. I Thank haven't you. had a cigarette in my life. Before. I know. I should hope not as well. Right, here's number one. I really love this box and I don't want to tear it. Please, I'm recording. Ah, there we go. Paula said this is the second box she's bought because her cat sat on the first one and pushed all the doors in. Ooh. Ooh. Look, that's pretty. Speckly, speckly. I'm not sure what I'm doing with these yet either. I might put these into my blanket as well. At this rate, I'm going to finish this blanket and start a new one. So that's really pretty. There's also a Cadbury's Eclair in there. Mm -mm. So that's my pudding sorted out. And the only thing left to open now, let me move that out of the way, is this number one. And I love this rose gold paper. That's really pretty. Let's see. Ooh. What error could it be? <laughs> Look at that! Oh my word. That is so cute. It's got a little gingerbread handle. Oh my. And it's got a gingerbread house on it that says Merry Christmas. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, everyone. That's fab. Very quickly, there's a big bag full of parcels, all with their labels on. I don't think you could see any of the addresses, but just in case. Uh, so they're going to the post office first thing tomorrow morning, bright and early, because I've got an appointment at quarter to nine in the morning. So I'll be dropping them off before that. Anyway, I thought I'd just show you this. This is my granny square blanket. Uh, I've been making this for a, ooh, probably about a year. Maybe started it this time last year. And it's quite big. I mean, I could almost use it as a tablecloth for this table. Some of them have been scrappy where I've put different colours together. They're just reversible granny squares 
and then I'm doing join as you go, which, uh, let me see if I can find a good example of that. You can see, can you see there? No, not very well. You can see better on this purple look. You can see where the purple has been joined onto this light coloured one on the final round. And then I've not got as many ends to weave in uh, and no sewing up, which is always pleasant. So I've, you can see here, I've just, <laughs> just started that row, popped that one there, that was Malloween from um, October time. And then I'm just going to carry on, carry on going, build it along the bottom and build it up the side a bit. So it's now about 10 o'clock at night. I've had a power nap and I've just had a coffee with caffeine in it, which is very unusual for me, especially at this time of night. Um, and I'm going to go and clean up an almighty mess in the kitchen. Uh, ready for doing some trimming up tomorrow, hopefully. So my little, I've got a little medical procedure at quarter to nine tomorrow morning, as I say. Um, so I'm going to go to bed early. Um, because I'm not expecting any pain, but if I do have any, I know I'll cope better if I've slept well. So I'm going to get the pots sorted and then I'm going to um, take my sock and go and have an early night. So I promise that I will very shortly have an intro. I know I haven't got one yet, but it's coming. I can't do one until I've got all the pretty things out. And that just hasn't happened today because what with doctor's trips and prescription collections and everything else, it took me a lot longer to get the Bob Robbins stuff sorted out than I anticipated. But I hope you've enjoyed day one of Vlogmas. I know it's not been quite as festive as it normally would be, but that's just how it is this year. And I will do my best to make up for it as soon as I can get back on track. Oh, you probably saw that um, Johnny's about halfway, nearly halfway through getting the flooring down in Ivy's room. Then we've only got the beading trim to put around the edge and we can start um, moving everything back in after he's finished off that. So we need to move the wardrobe in the morning. Anyway, I'm blathering on. I'll see you in the morning. Thanks for watching, everyone.